Hi, I'm Jack Flynn, and today we're talking about Bloom Nation. Bloom Nation is an innovative online platform that helps florists and customers connect on a local level. There are three founders of Bloom Nation, David Nanshagar, Farbad Sorka, and Greg Weissing. The three founders had no startup cash when they began this idea, so they spent $1,000 to enter David Denshigar into a poker tournament. David Denshigar was actually a contestant in the 2008 World Series of Poker and won the tournament. So this $1,000 entry fee had a $30,000 cash prize, which was enough to begin their funding for their online community marketplace for the flower industry. Bloom Nation gives florists a platform to sell their works of art and consumers a vehicle to purchase flowers from local vendors conveniently and quickly. Bloom Nation has already raised $7.2 million in venture capital funds and has planned for a mobile app and potential overseas expansion as they continue to grow. Bloom Nation focuses on the individuality of each flower and the artistic side of each florist. So at the beginning, Bloom Nation had a challenge of not only getting one customer base, but two, the florists and consumers to buy from these florists. So to, de to determine if their business was viable, the founders went into 100 floral shops and shared their visions with florists, asking them questions and building their trust. Although the methods of funding were highly unorthodox, their determination to begin this company was second to none. Bootlegging and acquiring venture capital funds seems like polar opposites of, on the funding spectrum, but this unlikely combination propelled Bloom Nation to success. From 2005 to 2008, David was one of the top five poker players in the world. This is a quote directly from him. If you have an asset like that and there happens to be a poker tournament half an hour away, and you need the money, it's like all the stars kind of align, right? So these three founders decided to pool their finances together and take a risk. So after David won the poker tournament and the $30,000, Bloom Nation began funding more traditionally through venture capital investors. So David was a business student at the University of Chicago Booth School of Business, so he had access to the new venture challenge a startup competition that had previous winners like Grubhub and Braintree. Bloom Nation won the New Ventures Challenge and sparked the interest of numerous investors. So David was initially skeptical of business planning and said that in his poker way of hustle, he preferred the idea of getting out there and obtaining first obtaining first-hand experience rather than simply plugging away at a hypothetical plan. So Bloom Nation did not create a business plan at first, but ultimately they had to create a business plan as they were required uh, to use one for their involvement in the new ventures challenge. Their business plan obviously worked well since they won the competition and sparked growth right there.